that I found those comments offensive. Um, when, when you start to characterize people based on the religious clothing that they wear, I just find that in the city of New York, outrageous. I can't believe that the mayor would have resorted to something like that and almost bragging about it. So I think he owes this community and communities across the city of New York a huge apology. I think it was wrong and I think it was offensive. Now, as, now you're running for mayor, right? I'm definitely running for mayor. Definitely running for mayor. Yes. Now, is there something you would build on as mayor uh, in building community relations so stuff like this does not happen? Well, I, I think it is. I think the tone comes from the mayor. I think the mayor is the person who helps to set the tone. I think in, a, in being and appearing in communities, uh, Orthodox communities across the city, you know, that sends a message that you know, the mayor being there sends a message that we are one city. And what I think it is comments like this, no matter what community it's directed at, I think it's wrong. And I think that indirectly, I saw the comments, uh, friends of mine forwarded it to me, and, and I saw it. I was stunned. I was stunned. I just thought, you know, I, I, the mayor of the city of New York should be above comments like that. I think that it's just inconceivable that anybody in the city of New York could make such a comment, let alone the mayor. Uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on with him, but uh, clearly this is a statement that deserves an apology. Mayor Bloomberg of the city of New York often, oftentimes speaks without thinking, and this is an, uh, another example of how he makes some really insensitive remarks, not recognizing um, the fact that it really offends individuals. The fact is, is that the city of New York needs to be responsive to all the needs of all New Yorkers, and what we should do is sit down and talk to them and try to resolve our differences, as opposed to making really uh, remarks that are going to offend people. Well, one of the uh, biggest mistakes a person often makes is that if they're from a particular group, they believe they can be offensive to that group. Um, pain doesn't dissipate because you are a member of the group that you are inflicting pain on. His comments were wrong. They would not have been used any, against any other group. And he does not receive a special passport to go into the land of hate and bigotry merely because he's a Jewish American. It should not be used against any group regardless if you're a member of that group or not. He should apologize and he should be the leader of the city by setting a high benchmark that terms and things that comes out of our mouths hurt and offend and a mayor of a city of the melting pot like New York should not offend any group. Now on to the good things. Are you running for anything next year? Well, um, in November, um, we're going to announce uh, the outcome of our exploratory committee. Um, we looked at the borough president race and we wanted to see the possibilities of running. And after, after the presidential races are over and the other races are over, we will release our information and make a formal announcement what we're going to do in uh, the great city of New York and the great borough of Brooklyn. I think the entire community was shocked and appalled to see the comments that the mayor made about the from community. I think it was uh, insulting and uh, really just unacceptable, especially considering that the, the mayor always touts himself as somebody who cares about religious freedom. For him to insult an entire religious group was something that was reprehensible. I'm really happy that really I would say all of the community's leaders came together. Uh, myself and former Councilperson Fulfeld were the first ones to demand an apology from the mayor. We were later joined by Senator Stroven as well as by Assemblyman Doe Hyken. And I think the message is clear. Uh, our community will not tolerate these kinds of insults.